Hey guys, as a single father of two kids, I feel like I'm constantly cleaning. Whether it's dusting, vacuuming, picking up, doing dishes, anything for these kids, because Lord knows they aren't going to do it. And the more and more I clean, the more I've noticed that the chemicals I have in my house that I use to sanitize my house or to decontaminate when these kids come home from school and daycare with all their germs seem to have more harmful components to them than the actual germs themselves. I mean, just look at my cleaning caddy. Look, it's bleach after bleach after powder, bleach, everything. I mean, these, these things all have labels on them that say harmful if ingested by kids, harmful if it got in anybody's eyes, harmful for this, harmful for that. Well, then what really are they doing for us? That's why I was really intrigued when I was having a conversation with a friend recently, and she told me about a company she's been working with called Norwex. Some of you may already know what Norwex is. I didn't. Apparently it stands for the Norwegian Experience, and it was a company that was created back in the early 90s, and it's all around microfiber. Now, I know everybody knows what microfiber is because it's been around for a long time, but the difference between Norwex and pretty much every other microfiber you find out there is that Norwex created its own antibacterial agent that they sew into all their products that's specifically made to break down uh, mold and grime and dirt and any debris that gets into their microfiber products, and that's called Backlog. And what Backlock does is it enhances what this is called a self-cleaning process. Now, I know that may sound kind of funky, and we'll get more into that later, but the self-cleaning process is what kind of really makes the Norwex products really awesome. When Norwex created their company, their main goal was to not only get the most effective, clean job possible, but also get rid of any needed chemicals. That way, we can help the planet, as well as helping ourselves clean our homes. Now before I go any further in this video, I need to say that I am not getting paid or I am not being sponsored by Norwex at all. They are not behind this video, they are not helping me, and they did not ask me to make this video. I am doing this all on my own, only because as an influencer I feel like you should give back when you find a company that does really good things and the older I get and the more I'm raising my kids and watching the planet deteriorate, companies like Norwex really speak to me. So um, I'm just really on board and I just wanted to make this video to kind of tell more people about it, plus to help my friend out and because uh, she gave me a couple free samples to try, but that was it. I'm not being compensated in any other way. One of the really cool things right up front that Norwex does that they're helping out the planet is they have a recycling program so that when your microfiber is done and done, after it's two year guaranteed warranty on all microfiber products, you can send it back in and they will recycle it. They'll break it down, strip it, recycle it, put it through all the process because they also want to decrease the dependency of landfills. I mean, how can you not love that? No chemicals, no landfills. That speaks to me. I don't know about the rest of you, but I have a two-year-old that would impress MacGyver with how she can get into anything. So decreasing the amount of chemicals I have in my house really is a plus to me. So there's so much more I'd like to tell you what Norwex does as a company and their products. So instead of me blabbing and talking about me myself, let's just go look at some of the products that my friend gave me to test. And then after that, I'm even going to show you a couple that I bought with my own money because that's how impressed I was. Let's go check it out. Like all kids, my kids are disgusting slobs. They make messes wherever they go. I just want to show you a couple products that my friend gave me to try here in the kitchen that keeps my kitchen so much more clean and so much more uh, sanitized. Um, that is until my disgusting kids come in here and mess it all up. But I'm going to show it to you. Anyway. So the first one is called the Enviro Cloth. Now the Enviro Cloth, they come in a couple different sizes. So the first one has the, I'm going to show you, it has the back lock technology. It'll say right here on the tag. Make sure it says that on there. They come in this size, and there's a mini one. So I have this size of EnviroCloth, and now the EnviroCloth is kind of like your all-around do-everything cloth. Mainly to clean surfaces. You can clean windows with it. You can clean 
uh, dishes with it. You could clean, heck, you can clean your kid's face with it if you want to. Uh, it's probably the best thing they'll ever have run across their face. It's durable, super tough, and like I said, it can clean on pretty much any and all surfaces. Now, I will say one thing that uh, Norwex kind of cautions against with cleaning with any of their uh, towels, hand towels, EnviroCloths, anything, is not to use them on stainless steel or non-stick surfaces, like if you have non-stick pans, only because they're so good at what they do, it could strip the chemical or whatever they use to make pans non-stick, or the it could scratch the stainless steel. What they suggest that you do is if you're going to use it on there, because I know some people do, and I do, I use it on my stuff, is they tr say try it in an inconspicuous spot first. So that if it does damage it, you won't be able to see it or nobody will notice it. So um, I've done it on my stainless steel stuff and I've used them on my uh, non-stick stuff and it does just fine. It doesn't, it didn't, it didn't scratch it or ruin it. So, uh, but that's up to you. They do caution you though. So, but let me show you how the EnviroCloth works. So here we are at my sink oh dirty dishes as well as you can see the food stain on the counter there that is technically my fault but i'm going to blame it on the kids anyway so like all norwex towels and cloths you want to get it nice and wet because they're super absorbent in fact if you go on their website and you look it says that they can hold up to like i don't even remember how many times their weight in liquid it's ridiculous though it's a lot so the reason i point that out is because after that what you want to do is you want to wring it out wring it out as good as you can to basically the however how wet you want it how um, much moisture you want it because sometimes you might want to smoother um, the smoother clean, the drier they are, what I mean by the drier they are, the more exfoliating they are. And that's actually has more to do with like your hands, your skin up like with their bathroom stuff. But it's still, it's the same thing with surfaces um, with these towels. So get them nice and wet and then wring it out because what you don't want to do is you don't want to have too much liquid in there because when they're doing, when it's doing the self cleaning, you know, it's sucking up the grime and dirt. You don't want then the liquid spitting out and it spits it right back out on your counter kind of defeats purpose. So what they suggest you do is then you fold it in half and then fold it again so you have eight, now eight clean sides to use. And then when you basically when you turn it over, it's, when you flip it inside out, it's the same thing. So, but we won't even need that for this surface. So as you can see the stain here and you just run it over it. Look at that comes right up the stain was stuck on there from dinner I'm not a, I'm not a happy to say that it was from dinner last night uh, I just didn't have time to clean see look at that all in one swoop or one and a half swoop I guess we don't call it and then I do another with the clean side See. now you've cleaned your surfaces and your viron cloth is now full of all this gunk what you do is basically same thing over again get it nice and wet so that you can get the grime out of there. And what they say is <clears throat> you don't need any cleaning products. That's the whole point of these things. You don't need any cleaning products to use with this. But let's say you're cleaning something extra grimy. Like the other night I cleaned, I used an inside grill pan, you know, and it gets really grimy and greasy. Let's say it gets all grimy, you can still see it on there. What you can do is get it nice and wet, put the smallest amount, just a little dab of soap on there, and even that's probably a little too much, and just kind of rub it in. And if there's like a stain or something on it, you literally just kind of find the stain and rub them together, and it literally cleans itself. So you get it in there, kind of rub it around, let the water get into it. Helps pull out the gunk, but you don't need it. And then rinse it out. Make sure you get all of it, make sure it's everything's out. Look at that. It's just it's even holding the soap. That's how powerful it is. So nice and wet. And boom. And you hang it up to dry. 
and it kicks in the self-cleaning backlock technology. The silver particles are in there doing their job. And it'll be dry in not too long. Alright, so I just wanted to show you guys a couple more things that my friend gave me to try out here in the kitchen. The first one is the kitchen towel. Similar to the Enviro cloth, except the kitchen towel is essentially just made for drying. So you're drying your dishes because this is super absorbent. Uh, all the microfiber is super absorbent. It literally just sucks up all the liquid um, in its path. And I, I can't even remember right off hand, but it says that it can hold up to like multiple times its weight in liquid. So even, and I'm telling you this from experience, even when this is wet and I have more dishes to dry, I've gotten great results out of this. It still dries, it still cleans, it's still awesome. Um, just like the EnviroCloth though, when you're done, and I showed you earlier, run it under water, get it nice and wet, wring it out. If there's any grime, anything stuck on there, you want to rub it out. A little bit of soap, if you need it, very little, if you need it at all, dish soap, to kind of get in there and clean it out. And then once you're done, hang it up, wring it out, obviously wring it out, hang it up, and let the backlock technology kick in, and let the self-cleaning kick in. Um, Another thing is, this is the dish cloth to clean your dishes. Now, it just may look like simple mesh, it kind of is, but the way this is created with these little teeny mesh holes, and it's super durable, get even the smallest amount of soap. I literally put like a little teeny drop of dish soap on there, and it just absorbs it and multiplies it so I, so I never have to add more, so that's cutting down on overusing soap and you just get in there and scrub 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 and the super durable material it's made of it's not microfiber but the material it's made of and because it has these holes that kind of gets in there and digs in to the food that's stuck on food or even stuck on um, items on the surfaces um, comes right up and I use it in conjunction with and this is my favorite product I swear I know this is early in the video this mesh pot scrubber. It's made from super durable, non-deteriorating stainless steel, and this bad boy works. Um, I love this thing. I have a grill pan that I use inside my home, especially when it's cold outside and it can't grill. I use that pan all the time, and it gets gunked up, and it is hard to get that stuff off of there. I mean, I've had to scrape it with knives and stuff before to try to get it off. This stuff gets it right off. So this is my favorite product. Both these things can be washed in the dishwasher, top rack. Actually, I would say put this in the in the laundry with the other microfiber. But this can go in the dishwasher. Make sure you put it on the top rack. Just uh, plop it in there, hit go, and you'll be done and done. The last bad thing. The last bit of info on this awesome product, as well as the dishcloth, is Norwex cautions you from using them on stainless steel, especially this one, or uh, non-stick surface, like if you have uh, non-stick pans, they caution against it. I'll say right off the bat, I've used them both on my stainless steel products and my non-stick products, and they've done, there's no damage. But they say, just in case, uh, test it in a non conspicuous area uh, just to make sure it doesn't damage it or strip it or anything because um, this bad boy right here could pull off the chemical that makes it non-stick so but I've tried it my stuff is still fine uh, better safe than sorry now one quick note about cleaning the microfiber when you're doing laundry because you will have to launder it eventually it's not just gonna be a hundred percent but I would say after couple of weeks of using it, you know, two weeks, ten days, two weeks of using one item. That's just one item. You have multiple. You can go longer. Um, you put it in laundry, wash it with, I would say your sheet, things like your sheets or jeans, something like that that doesn't have um, lint that can get on them. Uh, and so that also when you dry it, there will be a lint-free environment. Um, so you want to try to... Uh, Watch like that, and then once you dry them, pull them out, good to go. So, now that I've shown you those products, uh, let's go look at some of the stuff that I actually bought with my own money 
upstairs. Oh. 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 Hi! Hey! What are you doing here? What? Yes! Yes, they have bathroom products too! Like this towel! And other things! Get out of here! When I said follow me, I didn't mean follow me in here! Get out of here, freak! Okay, well now that I'm uh, properly dressed, you couldn't have just waited for me out here? I'm going to tell you about Norwex's cool body towels and hand towels. Now these are just two of many kind of bath and body products they offer. Uh, they have kids towels, they have body packs, which are more towels than this, they come in three pack. They have uh, baby towels, they have the cleaning paste that helps clean your grout in your shower, and they have so much more, so much more. Just go on their website and check it out. But what I really love about the body towel and the hand towel is they're made 100% by the super absorbent microfiber. It's nice and soft and it dries super quick. So like think about it. how many times in a day have you had to take more than one shower. Let's say you go and you work out in the morning before you go to work and you come home and shower and then you come home at night and your towel's still wet when you go to take a shower at night. It's kind of gross to dry yourself off with a wet towel. This thing, hand towels, these dry super fast. So by the end of the day, even within a few hours, they're already dry, ready to go again. But uh, these are super soft, when all the way wet. And when you're done with them, just like the towels I showed you from the kitchen earlier, wring them out, dry them, as, bring them out as much as possible, and you hang them up by the tag. And hang it up by the tag so it can dry. That's the best way for any Norwex product to dry and kind of activate those self-cleaning, uh, the backlock technology because it needs to be upright and hang and dry. Same thing with the towel. You want to hang it up. If you let, leave it kind of crumpled on the floor, it's not going to dry as quick and it's not going to be as self clean as you want it. So, uh, yeah, that's their bathroom stuff, or at least the one, the stuff that I have. These are things that I actually purchased with my own money because uh, I was so impressed with uh, the samples of the couple kitchen towels that my friend gave me. And uh, I don't know why I'm still talking to you. Like, get out of my room. Why are you in my room anyway? Get, get in, get out. <sighs> Much like kids, you can never truly escape or be safe from or hide from bacteria, dirt, grime, everything else. You just can't hide from it. Even out here in the car. I know they're going to find me any second. But out here is a perfect example of the second way that Norwex cleans, and that's dry. So I've shown you some of the examples in the kitchen and in the bathroom, how they clean wet, but when cleaning dry, like dusting, they have awesome products, Pew, like this glove. I love this glove. It's like my second favorite product that I got was given to, to try out, beside that scrub brush. I love this glove. It's like a nice little, like when you're massage, like when you're dusting, it's like a massage. For a second let me show you how it works as you can see my dashboard is well to say dusty would be a massive understatement I mean that's just pathetic why am I not cleaning this well, I am now so look you just reach it with the glove you swipe across look at that boom look at that and it gets trapped in there just like with the cloths and you can switch it over and do the other side like I could just turn the glove over and do the other side and you just keep dusting and it sucks it up right there in the particles look at that comes right off and you just tap it outside when it gets a little too dusty look at that perfect doesn't make up for the fact that I'm a slob apparently 
But look at that, just one or two swipes and it's already made a huge difference. Huge difference. Look at that side compared to that side. I love it. So there you have it. That's my review of the Norwex products that I have. Once again, not getting paid, not sponsored by Norwex, nothing of the sort. Just got a couple items from a friend to try out and even bought some myself. So I love it. Now a couple things that I want to cover just right here at the end so people don't think that I'm sidestepping. Number one is, yes, Norwex is an MLM company. Now, if you don't know what that means, it means multi-level marketing company. And I know you've heard that, and I know that that term comes with kind of a bad stigma. But that's because most companies that are MLM, if not almost all of them, uh, have have had stories or some kind of controversy come out against them that it's about how they spend their money or how they're just in it for the profit or how they abuse their consultants or other consultants are just rude to begin with. None of that applies to Norwex. In fact, I think Norwex, just like making their products, found a way to do MLM in the correct way. To me, what Norwex is trying to do is empower people out there who care about the planet to also become their consultants and inform other people about companies like Norwex that are trying to help the planet, help our environment, help make this place a less chemical filled place, less trash filled place, and to me, that's the best way to spread the word. As I mentioned earlier, Norwex gives back a lot and they help out with other foundations and other companies that are trying to also save this planet and, and this environment. One of those organizations is called washedashore.org. Now, washedashore.org is a community-based nonprofit organization that is out there informing people of the dangers of our marine life and the plastic that's in the water and other trash that's in the water, how it's affecting our marine life and how it's eventually could really hurt our ecosystems. But on top of that, Norwex also in 2013 created the Norwex Foundation. And since its inception in 2013, Norwex has not only donated large portions of their profits on their own to disaster relief and other environmental uh, needs out in the world, They've also donated over a million dollars to consultant suggested companies and needs uh, to this day, which I think is amazing because not only are they doing a good job, but they're also inspiring their consultants to give suggestions of other organizations that they may not have heard of that are out there doing a great thing like planting trees, uh, cutting down on waste, cutting down on plastic in the water like washed ashore. And if it couldn't get any better, they also have disaster kits for areas affected by like hurricanes, floods, fires, and every other imaginable thing possible to send to the individuals affected by those um, natural disasters. And I think that's amazing because even when you're stuck in that kind of a situation, you still got to clean yourself, uh, maybe some of your stuff that's been damaged. And Norwex is like, here, here's our microfiber. Have at it. We're just here to help. To me, that's enough to sell me on it. So I think they're awesome. I hope you guys do too. I hope you guys think about buying some. And if you do, uh, I'm going to link to my friend's uh, account down below because she is a consultant. And why not help and give back ourselves, right? So, yeah, that's just me trying to do a little good in the world. Take care, guys.